Hello, and welcome to a statue review for the pop-up parade Mori Calliope from Hololive English. So, this one has been sitting on the backlog for quite a while. It came out last year. Um, I think most of the Myth Girls are out now, for those of you not quite in the know. That is the first generation of Hololive English girls. Uh, and today we're specifically looking at Mori Calliope, the Reaper's Apprentice herself. So we'll take a quick look at the box, as usual, then I'll take her out. Uh, so there is all of the branding, Hololive, obviously, that's her name and everything. Uh, the sides, much like a lot of pop-up parades, it's a bit minimalist, but that's kind of the point. There's a QR code there for something. Uh, that's the bottom, that's the top, and that's the back. Obviously, those are Mori's kind of primary colours and everything. Anyway, I'm going to go open her up now, and we'll take a look inside. All right, I'm back. I've taken her out of the box, and I've assembled her on her base. So, first off, this does use the new pop-up parade base. Um, I say new, I think they started doing it uh, with a lot of the statues from last year. So that is a much smaller base, which is really nice. Um, for those of you who don't, you know, know or didn't collect older ones, they were more like hexagonal bases, which were a lot wider, and um, they just took up a lot of room, especially for more slender statues like this. It was a bit of a pain having a base that was like twice as wide, because you know, on a regular shelf, you needed kind of. You needed the space of like four statues to have two, basically. So kudos to them. Only downside is obviously these aren't coloured. Uh, I don't know if there are other ones that are coloured, but that was the one thing I did like about their old bases. They were usually colour matched. Like I imagine this would have either been pink or black to go with Mori. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get on to looking at the statue. So as always, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So she's got her high heels, uh, we'll focus on her coat in a second. Very gold, very black, that is kind of... Her colour scheme I guess is kind of black, pink, well and sort of red, and gold highlights or whatever. Yeah, looking very stylish. Uh, much like a lot of VTubers, it seems she's got tights on one leg and not the other. Why is that? I don't know, but hey, it, it looks quite interesting. Uh, and then we're going to move on to her gold-rimmed kind of reaper's cloak, I guess. Oh, well, this is this is her dress, I guess, kind of, because uh, up there is the gnarly as fuck reaper's cloak. So this is one thing. Oh, cool. But I didn't even notice that thing, but she is holding it in her hand there, kind of like. That is really cool. So uh, if you've seen my other statue reviews, then you know how much I love flowing capes. This looks pretty darn cool. Um, so the one thing that kind of always bothers me about VTubers is that 90% of the time all you see is sort of like their face, which is great, but there's so many cool things like Mori's cape design that when I unboxed this I actually forgot she had like a torn cape thing. Uh, just because you don't see it very much. But that, I guess that is the cool thing about owning statues like this and that you get the you know, the full array. So up uh, there we've got a little, little dangly red thing. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but maybe that's a kind of small scythe related thing. I don't know, she's got the open hem. Is that the word for it? Dress? I don't know. And the kind of silver belt with little gold buckles. Does go around the back, but obviously it is blocked off by her... Uh, by your cape and stuff, and we've got the kind of midsection, uh, and they have modelled Mori pretty accurately there, uh, in terms of the gold buttons is what I mean. Uh, and then onto the, oh yeah, she's got like the two different gauntlets as well. The left hand has a kind of regular kind of adventurer gauntlet almost, and a gold ring of course. And then her right, she has this kind of translucent sleeve which I really dig it's got it's almost got like an ice texture to it obviously um, it's just because that's how plastic works out but it's almost reflective enough that it kind of looks icy uh, which I guess is kind of fitting she's you know the Grim Reaper's apprentice got lots of gold bands and stuff 
And then Ronda back is the other thing I always kind of forget about Mori is that she wears a veil. Um, I don't even know if it's all that uh, regular on her streams. I think maybe sometimes she either turns it off or because obviously it's front facing and the veil's at the back. It's hard to tell because it's sort of translucent, but I'm really digging the translucent effect here. Obviously, it is translucent plastic and there is moulded hair underneath. Uh, as you can see there, the hair is pretty cool. Um, can't get a detailed look, obviously, because it is covered. Very nice. I like the gold trim as well. Very, uh, very classy. And then up to her face. I think her face is pretty much bang on. Um, it's a good thing with 3D models, I guess, when they made this, I'm sure cover just probably sent over the 3D file. So, uh, yeah, they got her pretty darn well. Looks a tiny bit different to her regular VTube model, but sort of not, not enough that I would say it's a gripe. And then we've got her black tiara on top, which is like a half tiara, I guess, is it? Unless that's always been the case. I don't know. But yeah, overall, gotta admit, she is looking really cool. Um, I especially like that it does show off the whole ripped cloak thing and the veil, which you don't get as much on stream and stuff. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to go off and take some photos now, I, I, different angles and stuff like that. So here is a photo montage. All right, I am back. So I've taken some photos. I think they turned out pretty well. I do kind of like the um, downcast kind of gaze that she has. There's uh, there's a lot of like potential opportunities that you could display her with. You could either sort of, you know, because there's a the side profile which looks pretty cool or like head on or whatever. But yeah, very nice. Honestly, overall, I'm very impressed with this statue. Obviously, if you're a Mori Calliope fan, I imagine by now you probably own this, or it's incredibly difficult to get hold of. It's, it's usually one or the other with these things, unfortunately. I did pre-order this, I've just only now got around to reviewing it, really. But this, of course, will be going on my Hololive shelf, along with my Corone and my Okayu pop-up parades. Uh, I do have one more pop-up parade, actually, to review, which should be coming out soon. Um, I don't know when, but keep an eye out for that. But uh, I will let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching this review. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you own this or any of the other Myth pop-up parades. I'm definitely going to be getting Ina, because, as you guys know, I'm a big Takwadachi. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Hololive Myth Papa Parade video, which will be out soon. And until then, goodbye.